Shalom, YouTube. It's your boy Micaiah, aka the Hawkeye Hebrew, coming at you with another build video. And today we're playing on the Stam Ward and Crit build. Uh, I uploaded some gameplay of this last week, and here's the official build video. So, with no further ado, let's go ahead and look at the sets. Um, start down here. The first five piece set we're running is Rally and Cry. And I really like this set because of the you get the 286 weapon and spell damage and then the 1500 crit resistance. And even if you got two or three people in your group, the amount of crit resistance you get from this is still more than seven pieces of MP. And so this set is really nice as a bag bar set. And basically what it's allowed me to do is run seven divines on the body and still not get my forehead cracked from not having that crit resistance. So I really like this set. Uh, we're only running this back bar. I have two rings infused with weapon damage. We got a stand recovery glyph on the net. And at some point, I'm probably going to infuse this so I can get a little more stand recovery. And then we have the back bar bow. And... I wanted this bow precise because on the back bar, we have almost 60% crit. So I really like the setup like this. We got the gaze of Sithis helmet on. That's to get a little bit more armor and health because we're in five medium, one heavy, one light. So I don't want to be too squishy. And then the next five he said we have is new moon acolyte. And... Like I said, all our traits are divines. So we've got the gaze divines, new moon chest divines. We got a one piece slime crawl here, which is divines also. So we can get a little bit more crit chance. And then the new moon, we got the light sash. Divines, divines, divines. So yeah, everything, all divines, if, if you can. Uh, we have a tristat and chant on the legs and the gaze of Sithis, and then everything else is stam enchanted. So that's pretty much the gear. Like I said, the rally cry back bar, and then on the front bar, I just have a random daily maul. And I did that for a reason because I wanted to keep this slot flexible for maybe you want to use the maelstrom weapon for the crit charge bleed. Or maybe you want to use the Vatashran 2H here. Or maybe you don't like two-hand at all and you want to go dual wield. And you can still do that with the way that I set this build up. So just put the rallying crowd on the back bar and front bar can be whatever you want it to be. I got the Daily Maul sharpened with a weapon damage enchant. And that's pretty much the sets. Let's go ahead and look at the character sheet. We have 15,000 Magicka. Let's see, his health is supposed to be a little higher than that. There we go. 27,000 health, 25,000 stamina, 1,700 stam recovery. I'll come back to the weapon damage. We have 42% front bar crit, and our back bar crit is 60% almost. Our front bar pin is 9,200. Our resistance is coming in at 24,000 spell and 23,000 physical. Crit resistance is 2,800. My attributes are all over the place, so just kind of slot those however you feel. We are using Lava Foot Soup and Salt Rice as the food. We have the Thief Munda Stone, and my race is a Red Guard. You can pretty much be whatever race you want. It's not too big of a deal. And let's go look at our weapon damage, our fully buff weapon damage. Rallying Cry Prod. So fully buff, we have 5,700 weapon damage. It's pretty, pretty good. And that's pretty much all of the stats. All 
All right, get him out of here. Let's look at the skills. Dizzy Swing. We are using Bird of Prey. We have Rally as our burst heal. Using Razor Caltrops. Using Executioner. And using Dawnbreaker of Smiting on the front. On the back bar, we have the Healing Thicket. Subterranean Assault. Budding Seeds. Resolving Vigor. Ice Fortress. And Lotus Blossom. Lotus Blossom just got changed recently to last almost a minute. So it's really good. Um, and it only costs 1300 Magicka. The problem that I've been having with it is <clears throat> I will forget to cast it sometimes. Because most of my other buffs are roughly 20 seconds. So like Ice Fortress, Rally. Um, they have a shorter cooldown. So it's basically like this lasts twice as long. And sometimes I'll forget to put the buff back on. I noticed that a lot with gameplay. Like I would let this drop off. I would forget to cast Caltrops before the engagement. It was just so much buff management. So I kind of swapped some things around. Like one of the things I did was... I end up putting Camo Hunter here. And you can still keep Caltrops here. I kind of experimented with Crit Rush as well since we're already critting. Might as well take advantage of that. And on the back bar, what else did we swap out? I noticed sometimes I was getting a little gassed even with the amount of recovery we have. So I swapped to the Bull Netch here. And then as far as heals, I was playing around also with the enchanting growth heal. You can you can do that. And we also had living trellis. Those are some of the heals we were playing around with. The issue I have with budding seeds is it's a bit weird for me. Sometimes I get the heal right when I need it. And then there's other times where I'm kiting and I'll I don't know, it's like maybe I'll forget to hit it again. Because the way it works is you can drop it down and if you hit it again, you can kind of get a heal from it. Or I don't know if this bug, but you can also just let it go away and get the heal from it like that, too. So, I mean, I guess however you want to play, you can got you got a lot of options as far as the, the heals you want to use. But this definitely has the higher tool tip or the bigger heal, but I kind of like Enchanted Growth and Trellis better, so those are some other options. I think at one point I was even playing around with Elude on the back bar to get a little bit, get the major evasion for all the jab, spam, and all the AoEs and stuff like that, so that's kind of helpful as well. And then let's go ahead and look at the champion points. In the green tree, I had Gifted Rider, War Mount, uh, Treasure Hunter, and Steed's Blessing. In the blue tree, we're using Biting Aura, Master at Arms, Duelist Rebuff, and Ironclad. And in the red tree, we have Survival Instincts, Pain's Refuge, Slippery and fortified. And that's pretty much the CP. I just noticed I, I noticed I did something. As far as stam recovery. I forgot to pop my potion. Noob status. So we actually with the we actually have 1900 stam recovery. Instead of 1700. Can't believe I forgot to do that. But yeah, that's the build video. Um, got a lot of flexibility with this build to set it up however you want. So hopefully you all enjoy the gameplay at the end and I'll catch you in the next one.
are they take the ball? Oh, they're right there. Damn, he dies the hell out of my Donnie. He must be a new player. There's no way I should have killed anything. Bro, why are these lightning heavy attack deals coming back? <laughs> Get out of here with that. I would have got that streaking, man. Jabs. Oh, the jabs and that, that chaos ball. Oh, no. Bro, he on one. Okay. Now. How you like me now? Bro. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know how I did die right there. Let me drop my all, bro. Oh my god, it makes me feel. Donnie 
Hey, bro. Oh, nice vampire. Let's go. Sweetie. 